Hi everyone, welcome back to Grounded Haven Homestead. Today is a really exciting day because we're finally going to harvest our sweet potatoes. We started these plants as slips ourselves and then they were transplanted out at the end of May. I have videos for both of these things so I'll link them at the end of this video. And it is now early September. It's been just over 100 days since we planted these out. And we're going off of that day count to know that it is about time to harvest. This might vary slightly based on the variety you grow, but they take anywhere from 90 to 120 days to be ready. You can see that our slips have been growing really well all throughout the summer and they have vined out really far from the bed. And closest to where the slips are planted, some of those leaves are also starting to yellow, which is another good sign that they are ready to harvest. We're going to start by just finding where each plant starts from and just cutting those vines off and this will just make it a little easier for us to be able to see where we're digging because there are a lot of leaves here and you can tell that these plants have really thrived in our climate. By the way, the bed that we have these planted in measures 3 feet by 8 feet and we don't even have the whole bed filled in, I'd say maybe two thirds of the bed. And I think we had planted out 10 to 12 slips and these were all started from two or three seed potatoes. So it's really not a huge space and it should be really fun to see what we get out of this small raised bed. After we've cleared out all of those excess vines, we can really see where the plants come from and we can actually start to see that some of those potatoes have been popping out of the ground. And that's a pretty good sign for us to see because we know that there are definitely sweet potatoes growing under there. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Wow. Wow. That thing's a beast. Oh my gosh, it's like five <gasps> sweet... Be careful, don't... Whoa! Oh my gosh! Yeah, I'm gonna break his little head off. Wow! Oh lord! Wow. <laughs> As you can tell, we were pretty excited and thrilled with our first plant that we started pulling up. We got two of those massive sweet potatoes, the biggest ones we have ever grown or maybe even seen. And that was just the first plant. So we kept on digging, going to where different areas of the slips were planted. And you'll notice here that we aren't using any kinds of tools. We're just using our hands because the sweet potatoes at this point are really delicate. You don't want to nick the skin or poke through with any spades or shovels or anything like that. If that does happen, the sweet potatoes may not be able to store or their storage life will be cut a little bit short. I did find that they also broke pretty easily, so we really had to make sure not to pull on them and try our best to kind of excavate around it to expose as much of the sweet potato as possible before we pull them out. This is how many sweet potatoes we got from just those first few plants, and we had some really big ones in there, and I'm already really happy with this harvest because this is just about as much as we grew last year, but we still have a lot more plants to go. This slip looks the most promising because we can see a lot of different ends of sweet potatoes poking up out of the soil and they would keep popping up throughout the season and I would keep trying to cover them up to keep them buried. And as we pulled them out, we found about six sweet potatoes in there, which is so exciting to pull up. You can see that those ends that were exposed to the sunlight a little bit started to turn a little bit green, but I'm just gonna cut that part off when we eat it and the rest of the sweet potato should be fine. But we are super happy with that haul from just one plant. We did notice there are a couple of scabs and nicks and things that are on some of these sweet potatoes, but we'll just go through them when we're going through the curing process and set those ones aside. All right, so we're just going to keep on digging and see what we end up with. So here is our final harvest from this raised bed. I'd say it's not bad for this small space. We're not going to rinse off the potatoes or anything. You don't want to introduce any excess moisture, but we are just going to pull off any of those extra leaves and separate out the different potatoes. 
And then for a final weight for this one, we got over 14 pounds and then a little less if you minus the weight of the bucket. So we're pretty happy with that, especially because all these slips came from just a few seed potatoes in the beginning of the year. We're gonna go through them now and just pick out any of those potatoes. We noticed some of them have little holes that are probably from worms or something. They're safe to eat, but we just wanna make sure we eat those first since they're not going to store very well. And sweet potatoes really should be cured before you eat them because as they sit for about a week in a warm place, they are going to concentrate their sugars and become a lot sweeter and more flavorful. We're gonna cure these sweet potatoes in the same place where we cure all of our other things in our greenhouse. They'll stay dry here and it's pretty warm during the day. After those were laid out, I actually remembered that we have one other small patch of sweet potatoes in our in-ground beds at the back of our property. We planted these as kind of an experiment to do a raised bed versus in-ground situation. I'm not really sure if it's totally even because we didn't get a lot of rain this summer and the plants back here don't get irrigation. I think we had only planted six slips out here as well and only three or four of them survived because the other ones dried out. The plants back here definitely were not as vigorous and those vines had not gone out too much during the season, so I was pretty pleasantly surprised to find that some of them had some good sized potatoes in there and anything back here was kind of just like a bonus to add to our other harvest. I also noticed that the potatoes that we got from this back area, even though we didn't get as good of a yield back here, I feel like there were fewer blemishes on these potatoes and that probably has to do with the moisture, maybe because the soil is more dry, the worms don't like to live there and they don't eat our sweet potatoes. So that's definitely something to take away even though the yield is not as good. We got just a few potatoes from that back area and they came out to a few pounds so I'd say our total is about 16 and a half pounds of potatoes and we are really happy with that. It's definitely more than we grew last year. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the process of these sweet potatoes from start to finish and we'll see you again next time.